Hi, welcome to our quick introduction to Daily Life Online, World Folklore, and Folk Life for Mr. White's ninth grade honors classes. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can search this database if you need some extra assistance or maybe forgot some of the search tips that we reviewed in class. What you might want to do for this particular assignment is to actually begin browsing by region since we're doing um, an investigation of cultures um, and making connections uh, between those cultures and the myths or folklore or legends or hero stories that you've chosen to read um, that can come from around the world. So um, my topic I'm interested in is Egyptian mythology so I could do browse by region and then go to Africa and then I can scroll down this list here and select Egypt and right away this will give me entries that I can go and take a look at and it looks like I have three pages of results so I could go through and browse those and investigate anything that seems of interest to me so I know from uh, other pre-search that I've been doing that um, this particular uh, tale or myth is one that's important in Egyptian mythology so I could go and learn more about this and you can see that it's pretty um, in-depth and then they give me additional reading that I might want to check out and I could look for those in Google Books perhaps in our library here at Chattahoochee or even the public library um, so there are different ways that you can get at that so I'm going to go back to my results and again I could continue browsing and seeing what's available that's related um, to Egypt. And again you may have to do a little bit of hunting um, and sometimes you may see a few other cultures mixed in there but you can be guaranteed that you'll find at least a few nuggets if not an entire treasure trove of information on your topic you can also go back to the main search page and you could do a search so again maybe i'm just going to do now something a little more focused egyptian mythology and this will give me the results so they give you some suggestions here for search limiters um, these are all full text so I could now tell it to search within my results if I wanted to do that so if there was something specific that I had in mind about Egyptian mythology I could insert that here so now I'm going to uh, type in a new search term to search within these results about Egyptian and mythology all of these articles are able to find results that have uh, this combination of search terms so I'm going to click go and make sure you click search within the results and now I've narrowed it down from 200 odd articles um, that will have uh, at least one of those words down to roughly 63 full text articles so I could go through and take a look at that so here's going to be a completely different article that I could look at so this is a great database. It does sometimes take a little bit of work um, in getting familiar with how the search interface functions. It's not quite as user friendly as some of our other databases, but nonetheless, it can be a really rich resource since um, it's based um, on a lot of the uh, principles and ideals um, that underpin this research assignment. If you have any questions or need some assistance searching this database, please let me know, Ms. Hamilton, and I will be more than glad to give you one-on-one -on -one or small group assistance. Thank you.